All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. We got the parlay of the week four, week number five of the NFL here. A three-leg parlay. This one, uh, the biggest odds that we've had on the channel for this series to date. Um, we did lose last week again by one leg. We were dummies. We took the under in the Dolphins and the Bills game, and the public was right. That game scored a million points. So we do go two and one in the parlay again. But if you know anything about parlays, it doesn't matter if you go one and 12 or 12 and one. It's still a loss because everything needs to hit. But I got three legs today that I'm really liking the odds on. We're still positive because of the big one we hit um, in week number two, which is good. But again, guys, you got to understand parlays are just kind of flyer shots in the dark. It's not necessarily a long term play if you're looking to make profit. Definitely some of the most fun sports betting. We can admit that. But I do want to throw that out there. Like when we do the parlays and whatnot, um, you know, I'm not saying that each and every one of these is an absolute lock. And when we lose, um, I'm heartbroken. No, it's like a quarter unit type of a play, hoping that it hits. Um, we obviously put research into it and make good picks. But you got to understand parlays are not really like that, that long term thing. Fun is all hell. We can all admit that. But I uh, just wanted to get that out there, guys. But before we do jump into the slate here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well. Well, and I do want to talk to you guys about Outlier. Outlier, sponsor of today's video. I used Outlier to find these picks. They make it super, super easy. They even have just a trending tab on their homepage, which is really, really cool, guys. I'll jump in and actually show you right here. Let's pull it up uh, so you can see for yourself. But you guys can get a seven-day free trial if you do use the link in the pinned comment. These are just trending plays and, and high hit rates that have been happening. Uh, for example, Purdy has failed to exceed 30 and a half passing attempts in seven of his last eight eight attempts um, shows what he's averaging for uh, games you can also go in break down the games by game you can go into player props and look at all the player prop hit rates as well very very cool app if you haven't checked it out yet it's great on mobile as well as desktop use that link in the pinned comment seven days free after that it's not bad either $19.99 per month afterwards you can use this and make uh, it'll make money you know it'll uh, pay for itself in no time if you use it correctly so go check out outlier guys I highly highly recommend that to one of my favorite sports betting research tools out there but let's go ahead and jump into today's parlay again we got a three-leg parlay and the odds are pretty nice on this one we're looking at plus 417 odds over on FanDuel that does beat all the other books so the best odds for this parlay are on FanDuel we're starting off with King Henry himself over 69 or I guess 70 plus on FanDuel, but over 69 and a half rushing yards here. I do think that he's going to be able to uh, beat this Colts defense. That's who he's going up against uh, 23 uh, in terms of their ranking of rush yards. So uh, what is that? The, the ninth worst in the league, bottom 10 team in terms of preventing the run. And we've seen them struggle against the run uh, as well. All weeks, I think I would exclude the Texans week that they played. But prior to that, um, you know, Kyron Williams torched them last week. Uh, Lamar and even Gus Edwards had a good week. Week number three there. Week number one, Etienne uh, crushed them. I think it was just Damian Pierce that didn't really have that great of a game against them. But uh, nonetheless, I will say that this is a Colts defense uh, that, you know, if there's if there's one hole and, and they do have multiple holes on this team, um, it is going to be in their uh, run defense here. Now, I wouldn't say that their pass defense is all that great either, but uh, at least they haven't been totally, totally torched uh, like that. But I like Derrick Henry. Obviously, off to a slow start to the season. Finally picked it up last week, 122 rushing yards against Cincinnati. Leg number one, Derek, uh, Derek Henry is uh, just a beast. I almost said Derek Williams, <laughs> but Derek Henry there. His actual line, I believe it's right around like 75 and a half. So we are taking a line, Alti Ev over here, alternate line uh, for 69 and a half. Just give us 70. Leg number two. I feel like I'm going to get called a biased Patriots fan here, but trust me, guys, I have no Patriots allegiance in this blood right now. I mean, I do because they're my team, but they stink so much, but I do like them in a bounce back spot here against New Orleans. Uh, the Patriots are great just historically after losses, uh, 44 and 23. That is 65% over the last 67 games after losses. Check this out. This is again, the outlier tool. This jumps right out at us. It gives us the best odds out there too. If you want to play this individually over on DraftKings, you can select it. It shows up on your picks and you you can see where all the plays rank here but guys yeah Patriots money line is it scary yeah they stink right now like that game against Dallas that's the Patriots the womp womp but I still like their chances to win it and then the Bengals are my last pick here I think that they're in a must win spot uh, per se um, and they are 25 and 11 against the spread um, against uh, after a on the road after a loss so uh, we like that too that's 25 and 11 69 percent in their last 36 games there I like the spot from here I like them against the spread this week but we're playing it safe with the parlay and just going with the money line so that is going to wrap it up for the parlay of the week 
let me know what you guys think in the comments and i also want to know this specifically we've been missing only we haven't had a single week where we lose more than one in these parlays which kind of stinks right let me know in the comments who which which of these legs you think fails us this week because we're on a track record i want to prove you wrong that no none of them are going to fail right but which one do you think is the least likely to hit i feel like i'm going to get a lot of patriots a lot of patriots in the comments but let me know in the comments which one you think ends up or is going to be the hardest one to hit and that is going to wrap it up guys make sure to check out all the other nfl videos those are coming out throughout the weekend thursday night football we go two and oh there um don't clip that. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll, uh, we'll see where we end up after the NFL week. Great week last week. Let's carry it into this week. Parlay of the week. Let's start off the weekend, right? Let's go. Catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.